Help wanted. Big businesses, small businesses, restaurants, stores, hotels, they're all hiring right now. If you're going to work for a new boss, do your best to impress them on day one. KCTV 5's Neil Jones knows a thing or two about buttering up the boss. Here's tonight's top five. So the Dodgers win the 1955 World Series. No one lasts as long as I have in television without learning a thing or two. So here are my top five ways to impress a new boss. Number five, make a splash. In TV, that means coming up with a big interview. Like when Gail King sat down with R. Kelly. No, tell me with this What I need is a Hal McCray type interview. Not all these bad questions every night. Number four, be a millennial. Employers love millennials, although I have no idea why. Whystep.com says it's because younger workers are easy to manage and cost less money. My advice, and I give it for free, is to lie about your age. Number three, work in your family business. Some of the most successful people I've known worked for mom and dad. They can wreck their company car run up huge bills on their company credit card, and still move up the ladder. One of the dumbest people I ever worked with went from intern to news director in like three years. Of course, his grandfather founded the company. Number two, be on time, don't complain, and do what you're told. That means doing some things that don't make much sense. Come on, Neil, give me more smile, come on. Now point, yep. Turn a little bit more. Get more. Neil, give me more. Point the camera. Of course, if they're taking promo pictures of me, it's probably a good sign. And the number one way to impress your boss, make an effort. Do.com says that effort's more important than talent. That's why I showed my effort when we hired a new general manager during the pandemic. I showed up outside his window to say hello. Hey, Charlie, I'm down here. At least I made a good impression. Idiot. Now, we've had an interim boss the last several weeks, so I really haven't had a chance to make an impression on him. No, I've already decided I really don't like you. But our new news director is moving to Kansas City in the next couple of weeks. And I've asked the folks at a local theater to send her a welcoming message. I'm Neil Jones, and that's tonight's Top 5.